Hi everybody, it's Marissa. I just wanted to say hi. It's been quite a while. Um, end of the school year happened and all sorts of stuff. So um, nothing bad, just things that keep us moving. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you a few things that I've picked up as well as some layouts that I've done. Um, one of my biggest issues lately in creating, and I don't know how you guys deal with this, I am a card maker and I like scrapbooking and I'm also getting into mixed media. How do you decide what to do? I, like I just, like I come over to do something mixed media and then I end up scrapbooking or I end up, you know, wanting to do some scrapbooking and I end up making a card. I just, I have so much trouble trying to figure out what supplies to get out because I'm not like when I think I want to do one thing, I end up doing something completely different. What I, which I guess is not a bad thing, except that I don't know. It just gets frustrating because and makes me not want to create because I just get frustrated because I don't know. I get distracted. I'm like, oh, that would be so cool to do, and then I'm off doing something else. So anyway, <laughs> that's my been my little issue with creating lately is I've just been kind of sometimes avoiding it because I don't know what little craft I'd like to do. So anyway, um, I'll go ahead and start sharing my layouts. And I apologize if I've shared any of these before because I wasn't sure if I had since it had been quite a long time since I'd made my last video. And um, yeah, I wasn't going to go back through looking through my videos to see what I had done last. So anyway, that's why I'm not, I don't have like tons of subbies. <laughs> I just kind of do this when I want to, how I want to. So um, here's one layout and these are using um, hip kits and one thing I love about the hip kits is that I have been using um, just kind of, they're coordinated so month to month you can kind of use supplies that you didn't use in the previous kit and I've been doing tons of that because I cannot keep caught up and I'm really trying to use the supplies I get as I get them so they don't end up mounting into a big mess. So <laughs> anyway, if you see a lot of things that are mixed from multiple hip kits, you, yeah, that's kind of how I roll. And I think that's really um, how Kimberly, I mean, it's how she designs, how she does her kits. And this one, I always, I kind of like scrapbooking these professional photos. I know it, it's not as nice, it's not as artistic, but in the end, you know, I just kind of like pulling it all together and doing something fun with it. And this one, I still need to put journaling on it, but I had watched one of Arit's videos where she had used the stencil, and these are Delusions Mists. So, um... That's that one. And this one I did last night. Well, actually, I did it a few days ago. The kids and I were playing with, these are canvases, um, a canvas board, and those are acrylic paints in the background. And I used, this is texture paste, and one of the stencils from, I think, the May Hip Kit. So, anyway, there's that. And I think this is a 9 by 9 by 11 maybe, board. So it's fun. And here's my last one. I just finished this up this morning. And this is using the Heidi Swap um, texture paste. And it's a metallic texture paste. And they come in tubes like this. And I picked these up at Michael's. So I won't show you those in my, well, I might show those in my haul. And also I use this, this is a We Are Memory Keepers Next Level embossing folder. And I'll show you those real quick if I can find them here They're in my pile. Um, they are six by six. So they're great for um, mixed media, scrapbooking, cards. This one is, and you'll see as opposed to like, previous, I, I love embossing folders, but these are so much more dimensional. I did have to play around a little bit with, um, like the sandwich for shimming them. So, and this is one of the pieces. 
and you can see I punched out that circle to put on that layout but um, and they're kind of hard to find right now online I was just fortunate enough to grab that so this is that layout so that is all of my those are all my layouts for right now um, so I did show you the We Are Memory Keepers folders, and I have to work quickly because I don't have a lot of time. I went and I got, um, I got these 4x6 index cards, and I know they're supposed to be the 3x5 ones, but I decided, um, I've seen that index card a day, and just practicing using mixed media, and I think that's something I would like to do. And then I have, I got some of the... Heidi Swap art screens, and I've used that. And here's an example of a card front that I did with the art screen. Screen, excuse me. And you can kind of see there's a little shimmer there. They're super easy to use. So these are the texture paste, like I showed you on the layout. And then in the smaller tubes, in multiple colors, they have. Um, she has, sorry, art screen ink. So those are very cool. I'm not going to go showing all this. I guess my other favorite one is this one. It's really cool. And all you need is a credit card to just kind of an old credit card to go ahead and smear that across the uh, across the screen. The only thing I don't like is they come in tubes and for the texture paste and the art screen ink, you can't put what you the excess back into the tube. And I know some people like using jars and things like that and I just I don't know, I don't like yeah, it's just kind of messy. Um, I picked this up at a local scrapbooking store. These are from Memory Box. And they were 20% off, so it was all about that. Um, I did get, <laughs> I kind of grabbed one of my kids' uh, pencil boxes, but I did get the fuse, and I plan on using it. I've got a 5K that I'm documenting. Um, my ne my nephew got second place, so um, I'm going to be doing that in kind of a Project Life kind of format. So I want to use the fuse so I can have some flip pages. Um, and I picked up this Hero Art stamp, the little pineapple. So anyway, um, 